Icor International is a refrigerant manufacturer located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We've been in business since 1991 and are probably most recognized for our R12 replacement hotshot. We now have an R22 and R502 replacement available. This presentation will be focused on retrofitting R22 residential and light commercial equipment to new 22B. ICOR International is committed to the training and education of technicians in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. Keeping with this commitment, we've developed this presentation as a guide to assist the competent and experienced HVAC-R service technician. The procedures that follow are not limited to a specific brand or manufacturer of equipment, but should be considered a guideline for air conditioning equipment in general. ICOR International is not responsible for personal injury or equipment damage during or after performing these procedures. In response to the federal mandate to phase out ozone-depleting refrigerants like HCFC R22, the industry developed ozone-friendly replacements HFCs. As a result of production caps and usage restrictions, the price for R22 will rise sharply over the next few years. As it increases in price, new 22B will be a more practical choice for the equipment owner and contractor. New 22B is available through a large and diverse network of wholesale distributors nationwide. ICOR International's new 22B, ASHRAE designation R422B and safety classification A1, was developed as a direct replacement refrigerant with similar operating characteristics and pressures as R22. Since its introduction, it's become a popular choice for many technicians and equipment owners. It's a safe, reliable, and easy-to-use retrofit refrigerant. It's always recommended to follow industry safety standards when servicing any air conditioning or refrigeration equipment. Failure to follow these standards could result in injury or equipment failure. ICOR recommends following these three requirements when considering retrofitting to new 22B. 1. The system must be designed for use with R22 or R407C, free of leaks and in sound operating condition. 2. New 22B is designed for use in systems utilizing direct expansion metering devices such as TXVs, fixed orifice, or cap tube. 3. It's not recommended to use this product in a flooded system. If you have a unique application you're considering for retrofit, please consult with an i Tech Support member before proceeding. On equipment 10 tons and larger, contact our Technical Support Department for assistance in determining if the TXV will achieve proper superheat. Opportunities to perform a retrofit can vary depending on the circumstances. It's important to remember that if a system is in poor condition or not running at design capacity, it may be impractical to consider a retrofit. Retrofitting the refrigerant will not improve performance or increase capacity. Here are some points to consider when determining if a retrofit would be a good choice. 1. Does the equipment have more than 5 years of reliable service left? 2. Has the equipment owner mandated a green policy? 3. Does the equipment fall under the EPA trigger leak rate of 15% on systems with more than a 50 pound charge? 4. Can equipment superheat and subcooling be adjusted to system design? 5. Are the condenser and evaporator fins in good condition? Here are a couple of reasons to consider for replacing equipment. 1. If the equipment is 10 sear or less. 2. If the equipment is exceeding the trigger leak rate and the leak cannot be repaired. Pre-conversion data can help determine if a system is operating at design capacity. If possible, it's recommended to record this information while the equipment is operating with the original refrigerant. The experienced technician can quickly determine if the equipment is a good candidate for a retrofit. 
The pre-conversion data form, like the one shown here, can provide helpful information and can be used as a reference after the conversion. One advantage to retrofitting to new 22B is that you don't need to perform a costly and time-consuming compressor oil change. New 22B is compatible with all compressor oils. It's important to know that you'll need to replace the critical elastomer, rubber seals, and gaskets on the components that are common to larger systems. For a more thorough explanation, contact our technical support department. Steps for performing the retrofit. 1. Record pre-conversion data. 2. Recover the R22 system charge to EPA recommended levels. Note, if system is empty, proceed to step 3. 3. Repair all leaks. 4. Replace all elastomers if applicable. 5. Perform system maintenance and repairs. 6. Replace the TXV if required. 7. Replace all refrigerant filter dryers. 8. Vacuum the system to 500 microns. 9. Recharge the system with new 22B to 95% of the original R22 weight. Don't charge by sight glass, as it could lead to an overcharge. 10. Start the equipment and run for 30 to 45 minutes for the system to stabilize. 11. Check subcooling on equipment with a TXV. Check compressor superheat on fixed orifice equipment. All 400 series refrigerants have a specific bubble and dew point. Refer to the new 22 BPT chart included with every cylinder of new 22B. You can download a PT chart at www.icorinternational.com or from the mobile site, icor.mobi. 12. Add or remove refrigerant as needed to achieve design superheat and or subcooling. 13. Check the pressure safety controls and condenser fan cycling control for proper setting. 14. Properly label the equipment with the new refrigerant designation and the amount of refrigerant charge. 15. Record post-conversion data. We hope this information has been helpful and we encourage you to try new 22B at your first opportunity. Please visit our website at www.icorinternational.com or call 800-497-6805 if you have general questions about our products or would like to know where they can be purchased. Call our technical support department at 866-433-8324 if you have any questions about the retrofit process or equipment. Thank you.